Hello everyone, Connor here and today I'll be showing you how to use our cymatics circuit. But first, let me explain what cymatics means. Cymatics is a vibrational phenomenon in which sound waves can cause patterns using materials such as sand and some liquids. These patterns occur due to the movements of the sound waves and the vibrations they cause. This is caused by something called standing waves. A standing wave pattern is formed when two waves of the same frequency interfere whilst travelling in opposite directions, causing certain parts of the plate to remain fixed while other parts vibrate. These standing waves cause nodal lines, which where the sand settles, making the sand patterns known as clandy patterns. The left dial controls volume. The right one controls frequency. Each pattern is formed by a very specific frequency, which if changed, even slightly, could cause you to lose the pattern. When making clandy patterns, it's important to make sure the surface is level, or all the sand will gather to one side, making the pattern much less impressive. The button on the right toggles the frequencies between a high range and a lower range. Pressing the button on the left toggles between a free control sine wave and record mode, which, when pressed, will play the currently saved recording. Record mode allows you to record a set of frequencies to be played back at a desired speed. Once record mode is enabled, the current saved tune will play. The left button should then be held until a beep is heard, which will change to sign mode, allowing the frequencies to be saved by holding down the button once again for another beep. The second beep now means the frequency was saved into the sequence. The record mode allows for a sequence of 10 different frequencies to be played back. After 10 beeps are heard, a double beep will sound, meaning the recording is done and can be played back at any time by returning to record mode. The speed of the played back recording can also be changed by the frequency adjuster on the right. Most videos demonstrating this phenomenon don't show how loud this really is. The volume has to be turned quite high before any clandy pattern forms. That's better. If you're having trouble finding your desired frequency using the dials, then you can plug in an external source. I have my phone plugged in here using an auxiliary cable, and I'm using a tone generator app. By using my phone, I can play multiple tones simultaneously to create a wider range of patterns. You can change the shape of the clandy patterns by using a different shape or material for the vibrating plate. Here's a circular one. Or a hexagonal one. Be creative and see what you can find. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you found this interesting, make sure to check out other videos on this channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe.